Russell, Russell, Hammer Russell, and um. Guess so Janessa. Janessa Hammer is right there holding the camera, and we're going to talk about the Illuminati and Jay Z. So Amber, you heard it first, so mm -hmm. you realized it first, so you said. What so I was listening to the song Hot Toddy by um, Usher, Usher and Jay Z, mm -hmm. and there was a line that says. I, no, don't quote me on this. I know I'm probably missing parts and not saying it right, but it went something like this. He said, um, they think that I am down with the Illuminati. Yes, my jeans do illuminate. My pockets are naughty, but I was sent from God. Something can't hurt nobody or whatever. Basically, he's trying to, like, you know, defend himself, trying to say, you know, you guys think I'm down with the Illuminati, but I'm really not, and, um, I think it's bullshit, you know. You know, well, first of all, let me have some, I have something to say. I was on my Kanye West video, there was someone leaving comments about me, and I was about Jay-Z, I was talking about Jay-Z, and mm -hmm. how he said, and the uh, Empire State of Mind, his first, no, mind you, his first number one single, his most popular, which means his most popular song, basically. And um, it's the most successful song that's the most successful you can get. Mm -hmm. So he, in the song he says, Jesus can't save you. Life ends when the church begins. Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church came here. Okay. This is an actual quote. I'm not sure if it's actual. But he basically says, Jesus can't save you. And life starts when the church ends. He's basically bashing the church. In fact, he's bashing the Christian church. He's not saying anything about Jews. He's not saying anything about um, Hindu. He's not saying anything about Satanists. He's not saying anything about witchcraft. He's not saying anything about any other religion except for Christianity. And to me, Buddhism or whatever it's called, Buddhism is mm -hmm. it? Buddhism. And um, he's not saying anything about any of these other religions. And the person was like, well, in the U.S., Christianity is the most powerful religion because politicians are at this, that, and the third. But to me, when you're an African American, this is what we go to. This is what we, we go to the church for help. We don't go to the politicians. We don't go to this person, that person, the third. When we have problems in our lives, we turn to God. And for him to say life ends when the church, life begins when the church ends, it's kind of weird because you're basically bashing what your mother believes and your mother probably went to church and say how or pray to God we all as people who are Christians pray to God saying how am I going to make it through the next day you know and for him to say that life ends when the church begins or whatever when the church ends life begins it's him bashing it saying that when this religion ends that's when life begins you know do you yeah. have anything to say about that um, no, but I think Janessa does. Janessa. She's a guest, Janessa Navarro, Colombiana. What do you, what do you have to say, Janessa, about Jay-Z and Illuminati? Do you think he's Illuminati? Yes. Why do you think Jay-Z's Illuminati? Because he is. He because he be. is. He has to be. That is it. Janessa has spoken. Alright, he has to be Illuminati. And also, and when I say the song went number one, I mean that, that means it's successful because, probably only because, he said what he said, and that's when, you know, mm -hmm. the gods of Illuminati helped the song go. I'm not too familiar about it. I can't tell you the breakdown and this, that, third extra signs, whatever. I know it's different symbols. I know the triangle and the eye. Jay-Z also calls himself Hova, which is God, you know? Mm -hmm. And he calls himself Jehovah, Jehovah, mm -hmm. which is God, basically. Um, he tells people to throw up the rock sign like this. Which is a sign that's Illuminati, the diamond with the mm -hmm. eye in it. Um, and then I was watching this video, and they also said that the reason why he um, released this album on a certain day was because it's a, a very significant day of the year. And you think about it, he released his album, last album, on September 9th, uh, September 11th. And that's not really that big of a deal, you know. But when you think about it, if this date is so significant, and he had put out three songs before this album actually came out. So it's like, why did you have to wait so long? Exactly. Because Death of Autumn came out in June.
okay? Run This Town came out in July. Why did you wait all the way up until September to release your album on the date which is, sort of what's, which is said to be significant to people who believe in Illuminati? So um, that's what I got to say about that. Do um, you have anything else to say? No, no. I'm good. All right, you guys, let us know what you guys think. Do you think Illuminati is true? Um, if not, tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment, push the like button, watch the Kanye West Illuminati video if you haven't, watch the Drake. Um, miss me, and I talk about a little bit about Illuminati, how Drake has no creativity in the video, because very plain, very boring, he's a very boring performer, very boring rapper, who is nothing but hype, and, um, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think, push the like up button, subscribe to the channel, post it on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you got, Twitter, MySpace, if you still have it. We need, like, a Twitter. We have a Twitter, I don't do Twitter, I don't like Twitter at all. Alright, so, um, we're gonna get involved with Twitter, Facebook page tonight, and get it out to our fans. Um, so, on the, um, I'll leave a link down there, check out the Twitter, I'll follow you back if you follow me, and, um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.